Hello everybody. Uh, today I want to show you how you can run your server or your virtual machine on Nectar for your force assignment. Uh, first you have to search Nectar. This is the home page of the Nectar. And here you can see that there is a cloud login. Just click on that. And because Monash is part of the Nectar Cloud, you can use Australian login via AAF. Uh, select your university here, Monash University. You can say, remember my organization. Um, you can use your uh, Monash email address, the one that you are using for Moodle as well. So enter your password. Uh, this is the uh, portal of uh, Nectar and it gives you some information about number of instances or virtual machines that you have, amount of RAM available to you and things like that. As a student, you have uh, two vCPUs and eight gigabytes of memory available. So to run your virtual machine or server, what Nectar is called it instances, you have to go to this part. Before going to instances, for uh, making a virtual machine, you need to consider two things. One of them is a key pair, that it's a public-private key, key pairs that you have to create, and this allows you to uh, make a connection to your virtual machine. First thing is that you, sh you, sh you should create key pair. Go to this tab. Here you can create your own key pairs. Just click here. What is the key pair? Just let's say, for example, I press. So you have to save your key somewhere in your computer. And I save it on my, let's say here maybe. And user and here I have a key folder I just save it here okay after you created your key you need to do something with your firewall and uh, security policy with your virtual machine here in networking or network you have security groups go to this tab uh, Nectar has a default security group for machine. This plays the role of a firewall for your machine. You can see rules here. For example, it says that all IP version 6 going outside the machine from any port, any protocol is possible or any IP6 as well. Ingress anything. It means that traffic from outside. Everything is open in uh, in default security rule but you might have a better security uh, so you create your own security group let's say name it as ipref create your own security group so we can manage rules here uh, going traffic outside your server or your machine Whatever, whatever traffic wants to go out is okay. So now we are adding some rules for incoming traffic. So first of all, you have to allow SSH because we want to use SSH to connect, connect to your machine. So SSH is allowed. You are just adding SSH. Uh, the other thing that you might need is ICMP because you want to ping your machine and see that if it is available, all ICMP, I just allow it. So you might use your IPREF server on this machine and you want to connect to, to, to that IPREF server. So whatever port you want to use for IPREF server, you have to add that uh, port. Uh, I'm using custom TCP rule 
because I'm going to use TCP. If you want to use UDP, you can add UDP rule as well. Ingress port, for example, I'm going to use port 5000. I add it from all, any machines. Uh, you can connect to port 5000 of this machine, 5000, port 5000 and TCP is open. If you want to define a specific uh, IP address, you can define it here or range of IP addresses. This is in C CIDR format. So just add that port. So remember that you just open port 5000, any other ports is blocked. So now security group and uh, keys are ready. You can go to compute, to instances. Uh, the desktop of um, Nectar is a bit slow, be patient with that. So here you can launch your virtual machine or your instance. Just click on launch. You should give a name to your machine. I give a name like test, you can give whatever name you want. Here you have list of availability zones or different um, data center or clusters you can run your machine. Monash has three, for example, Melvin Uni. And uh, so any availability zone is also fine. Nectar automatically selects one for you. So I put it as any availability zone because sometimes some zones are full and you, can run, you cannot run your machine. It's better to put it as any availability zone and uh, Nectar selects it automatically for you. Um, in this page, when you click on next, you can see you have to select the source or uh, image that you want to run virtual machine based on that. So here it has different way of selecting source. We are going with image. So if you get a snapshot of your machine later on, you can use a snapshots or volume, but right now we don't have anything. We are going to use image. Here is the list of all am uh, available images. So I recommend you to use Ubuntu for your assignment. So just search Ubuntu and the latest version of Ubuntu, it's this one. You can use uh, Xenial, Bionic. You can go over this one, Nectar, Ubuntu, Bionic. So just select here. This is the image you want to run. This is the operating system you want to use for your machine. Then click on next. Now you have to select the flavor or type of machine you want to run. It has different types of machines. Some of them you cannot run uh, because you have a limited resource available. Uh, so small machines has one gigabyte of memory, for example, total disk. I think for your purpose, I think T3 small is enough. Two vCPUs and two gigabytes of memory. Just select that one. This is your virtual machine flavor. Next step is uh, networking. Classic provider is there, so you don't need to select anything at this page. Here you have to select that security group that we created earlier. So by default, this one is used. You can use your own. Just remove default from here and put default, uh, your own uh, security group here. Then next page is about key pair, which key pair you want to use. IPREF, for example. Next three pages, you don't need to do anything. Just next, next, and finally launch your instance. instance launched and now you, you know, after a while you can see here there is a machines booting up you have to be uh, patient with that spawning uh, okay now my machine is uh, up and running so you can see that there is an IP address here for the machine and uh, you can use SSH to connect to your machine. So if you remember, we saved a key pair and we, we have to use that um, 
uh, use our private key to make a uh, uh, to make SSH to our machine. So in um, for doing that, I'm, in Mac, I'm going to use terminal. Uh, please note that uh, in uh, uh, Windows machines or other operating systems, you need to have SSH client to make a um, SSH connection to your machine. Uh, Windows doesn't have SSH client by default. You can use something like Putty. Uh, Putty is an app uh, that you can use in Windows. Uh, which is a, f a free SSH client app, then you can use Putty to make connection to your uh, machine and get access to your the operating system in your uh, virtual machine. If you are using Linux machine or uh, Mac OS like what I'm doing right now, you don't need uh, SSH be uh, client because by default they have it. So, okay. Uh, I remember uh, I you, uh, you remember that I saved the key somewhere so you have to go to that folder mine was in keys folder if you can have a look yeah this is the key that I have saved you can see that by default access permission to this key is read and write uh, sorry read for group and read for others and read and write for you so you have to change these permissions because nobody else should read your private key. So what you can do in Linux machine or Mac, you can use ch mode. ch mode uh, 600 means that only read permission for uh, uh, sorry if I want to make it read uh, 400. Uh, there are three bits for each part, for zero for the first part means for person, for group, uh, sorry, for everybody else, for group and for you. So four means that I want to make it readable only for me. Even write is not possible. So I press, if I do ls, you can see that I have only read access to this file, read permission. So now you're, uh, you have to do this, otherwise you're, um, uh, Nectar will complain about that and it won't allow you to uh, make uh, SSH to your machine. The other thing is that if you are using uh, uh, so let me first try and see if it is working. So now you want to do SSH to your machine. SSH allows you to make a secure shell access to your machine. So what is the user for Ubuntu machine? It's Ubuntu, if, because we are running Ubuntu. And then uh, you have to put the IP address of your machine here. You have to use uh, dash I for your key, and then you are saying I pref key. So SSH, Ubuntu, IP address of your machine, dash I, and then your key. So now I am on the command line of uh, my virtual machine. You can see that it has changed. This was my Mac and now I am on the, I am on the command line of the uh, machine. You can see that there is no file here right now. You can ping Google to see that if you have internet access, ping is working. So now it's time that you can run your IPREF server here on this Ubuntu machine. Uh, how you can uh, install IPREF on your uh, server? Uh, if you open your assignment description, I gave you a link here that you can download IPREF. So just click on that. And it has IPREF for different types of operating system because we used Ubuntu, we are going to this part. So uh, there is a manual way of doing that or you can use this link, how to perform most recent installation of IPREF. So click on that and do these commands step by step on your machine. So first one says that remove any existing IPREF. You don't have it in your machine, but it's good to do it anyway. So then you have to download the package. Sorry. Copy. 
Okay. Okay, now it's downloading. It's ready to install. You have to download another package as well. Okay. So now I am installing those two packages that I have downloaded. Remove some extra uh, files that we have on the machine. Okay, now iPref is ready and you can run it. iPref 3. So for running an iPref 3 server, just put dash s. If, if you want to define a port, you can say just p. And if you remember, I just opened port 5000. So I put a port 5000 here on uh, my server. So if you are using any other ports or your default port, maybe you cannot make a communication because firewall blocks you. So make sure that you are using the same port that you have opened on the uh, security here, security groups, you know. Yes, here in your security group, rules that you have, and you can see that I have opened port 5000. Okay, so my server is running now, and uh, you can test it with a client on your machine. I open another window here, uh, for example, new basic window. Uh, so my uh, iPref client, iPref uh, app is installed on my desktop. Here I have iPref. Sorry, iPref. Uh, so as a client, you are using dash c. What is the IP address of my server? This is the IP address of your instance. And you can copy it from here. This is the same IP that Nectar allocated to your machine. Uh, so this is the IP, oops, sorry. I Dash C, this is the server IP address, dash P is the port, and you should use the same port that you have here. And you can see that my iPref client is communicating with iPref server, that, uh, is, which is running on an instance on Nectar Cloud. So you have to do the same process for your assignment, and for two parts of uh, your assignment, you have to use uh, uh, same same machine. If you have any question, please post it on uh, forum, and we will respond to your question. Thank you so much.